Okay, so let's talk about the one, the face on the neck. Okay, so I gotta get this one done. Oh, right here. Jonathan. So all of them say Size Jonathan. Five. Yeah, that's a powerful name right there. <laughs> <laughs> Rapper and reality star Krishan Rock is stepping into the shade room, and no topic is off limits. What's up, roommates? It's your girl Tembi, and we've got Miss Krishan Rock in the building. What's going on? <laughs> she got Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth. The missing bit. Oh, well, this is too bandit, but we got the tooth in today, though. We got the tooth in. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's. it's... It is, but it, it pops is. On and off. <laughs> on and off. Well, what actually made you decide to like fix it? Because you seemed very confident, like without it, regardless. So was it like the pressures of social media? Like what what changed? Um Oh, I just got I woke up one day and I was just like, I'm kinda tired of this missing too. Yeah. But then my homegirl, she's a DJ. Her mm -hmm. name is DJ Sky. She has this dentist, and she was like, "Yeah, here, do it, da da." da. Like for real, for free. Yeah. She's like, "Yeah, like, he did oh, it for I, free." Yeah. Wow. He's, but he's like a black owned uh, dentist. Shout you know? out black owned dentist. I know it's beautiful. Yeah. I actually was like, "Who it is?" Yeah. He was like, really. That's wild that you family. got a whole tooth for free because people spend a bag. A bag. I kind of spent a bag. Like, at first, we were spending bags on, like, a flipper like this, mm -hmm. but I would lose it. Mm. And then I just said, F*** you. I'm yeah. just missing two. So how did the picture come about? Let me see. The picture? Oh, my God. So All is right. that a sticker or? No, it's not a sticker. It's in the tube. Oh, wow. <laughs> It don't come off. Okay. It's pretty. And okay, so how did that come about? Like, okay, let me get your face on my tooth. Because I felt like he was saying certain like, oh yeah, you think you're cute with a tooth. Okay, I'll put you <laughs> my tooth, baby. What's up? I okay. love him. I'm done. But um, you know how back in the day they used to put like initials, like with gold? Yes. So it was something like that. I just uh -huh. put a picture. So is that going to be like your permanent tooth? Like when you get the tooth, are you going to have the face in or are you yeah, going to switch it out? I want it the, the face is. forever. Yeah. Oh my it's God. It's cute. I like it. But I really don't think I want a screw because it never heals mm -hmm. and it hurts. Like when I first got it in and I was eating, I couldn't eat. It yeah. Was... Maybe you could do something to where you can like switch it out with like different ones, like each time, you know, like a different picture or like not a picture. Like, is that an no, option? No, we're keeping this. Keeping it. Mm -hmm. Period. Here he is, stand for stick beside him. Stick yeah. beside <laughs> Before the fame and infamy, Krishan grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. The 11th of 12 children, she was a girl with big dreams raised in some rough circumstances, but she always knew that she was destined for more. I don't want to dive into your background a little bit. Yeah. Dive in, let's dive right in. Because, really dive in. Shame, listen, uh -huh. let me just say, you were a whole... <laughs> You're so funny, but you were a whole track star oh, yeah. at some point. So, like, give us the, you were training for, like, Junior Olympics? Yeah, I was in the Junior Olympics, um, but I started track when I was 12 or 11. That's how my big brother put me in it. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Junior Olympics up until I was 17, because you're going to do, like, when you're 18. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I had a opportunity to go D1, but then I ended up going like to a two-year college, mm -hmm. which was in Northern Cali, in the mountains and shit. Yeah. So I trained, because I didn't really want to go to school, but I was also fasting, telling God like, hey, yo, hey, <laughs> I want to be an actor, I want to do yes. this, I want to do these and that. Is that what you always wanted to be when you were yeah, younger? Yeah, actor, yeah. A model, or like something behind the screen. Mm -hmm. And because I'm charismatic or, you Yes, know, very. Thank you. Yes. And uh, everybody keeps telling, oh, you have great charisma, thanks. Mm -hmm. and so I'm like, yeah, I like that. Yeah. And then when I was in college, I did this theater class and stuff for acting. Mm -hmm. So uh, it had always been my dream. So like when I went to college, my first two year, when I left, what, 2018, I left Baltimore. And then I was in my own housing with a roommate. Mm -hmm. It was like independency, but it was also like, a way for me not to be homeless yeah. too. So that's why I really went to school. I didn't want to live with my boyfriend or a sister or a friend or a coach no more. Right, I right, wanted right. to be on my own. And right, like, and you were homeless at some point, right? Yeah, like since I was nine. Wow. Up until I was, what, 18? Really? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what was that transition from 
obviously homelessness to college and then now you're you're here my mama here. had all 12 of us um we was all in one bedroom apartment at one okay. point and you're 11th of 12 yeah kids. i'm 11th yeah. out of 12. Uh, i just witnessed her with like get abused by my dad um he was a he he kept stability mm -hmm. but i really feel like my mom kept that um I just feel like the guys in her life, the men that's in her life, like end up taking advantage of who she was and what she was. I don't know. Like it used to be like things like he used to take her to the woods and tie her up and beat her up. And wow. So my mom dealt with depression, anxiety on like a high scale. So she got hooked on antidepressants, mm -hmm. which got abused, obviously. And then um, I was like always on my own up until like. Like, yeah, nine. Like, I was always living with a, another family member, a sister or a brother, or <coughs> living with a friend. Did you ever witness any of the abuse? Yeah. Like, um, he used to, like, it was this one time I came home, what, when I, how old was I? Like, eight years old. And my tooth came out like this. Like, really? Literally, but the bottom one. Oh, and wow. Then, uh, <laughs> like, my father just came home. He probably yeah. got some money for me. Like, mm -hmm. that's just in my head. It's my first time. I met him, what, when I was seven? So he just came home from jail, or whatever, and then um, I go knock on the door, and she's like, "Go get your brother." Like it sounded weird, and then she, I said, "What? Like, mom, are you dying?" Like, but that was my instinct to think mm -hmm. that, like, what's going on? And then I dropped my little tooth, went to go get my brothers, and then we barged through the door. She's against the wall with her neck off wow. the floor. So it was like to see things like that as a kid. It made me push back for my dad, and then. Love my mom wholeheartedly, and but also like separate myself from from that part of yeah, your life. Yeah, like I used to always stay at school to go to practice, and then after practice, stay at practice, and then if the coach was like, "Oh, you want to have dinner with us?" Yeah, I go to dinner with you. Yeah, <laughs> <It was dinner laughs> just with try you. and stay. Up yeah, like I away always found it. a way to run away from it. Mm. And then recently, I moved her out to California and put yeah. in an apartment. How much? How does that feel for you? Like to be able to like be in a, at a place in life where you know you were homeless at some point and witnessed all these things and now like you've moved her to california like one of the most expensive states like right ever so let's ignore the price because like that when you're dealing with god it does, he provides mm. so it's like i didn't really think about the price i didn't look up no prices mm -hmm. i just was like all right this is that oh, all right boom and it was like it was just god like yeah. i don't know like my when i first got that apartment before i moved my mom in this was before I met Blueface and stuff like that. Um, I put a thousand dollar down just to move in to get a key. Yeah. <clears throat> they said the first month rent free. I'm like, all right, in Jesus' name, I'm blowing up. Amen. And then that month, I moved in that house to do Blue Girls Club, mm -hmm. and then I ended up getting signed as an artist. And then he ended up signing a house and bread and a chain, and mm -hmm. it was just like levels. And then God. Yeah. And then you're very spiritual. Yeah. Very spiritual. What's your relationship with God like? I love Jesus. He's yeah. my best friend. I be talking to him all the time. Yeah. I could tell. Like, you're very, like, you have a lot of faith, oh a lot of, like, spiritualities. That's okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, you got me all don't like... be sorry. Mm -hmm. That's okay. No, I, I can, I can feel happy. it and I can These see These are happy, it. too. Yeah. So what's your relationship with both of your parents now, your mom uh, and your dad? My mom is more like a kid to me, mm -hmm. but I love her to death. I just have... Patience. Um, when she came out to California, she was getting clean, but she got depressed. Um, wasn't able to spend as much time as I wanted to with her because I have to work and I have to be. I, I love to live my life. I don't really like to like completely stop everything I'm doing just for one person because right. that's how I up what I got going on. I would call my sister and brother. I was like, hey, I should fly out, give mommy company, my little brother. I flew my brother out. He gave my mom company. It still seemed like not enough, so I really just realized that she just loved drugs over everything else. Mm -hmm. So accepting it as an adult, um, it's kind of like a punch in the face and the stomach and the gut everywhere. Like, you just get beat the f up. Like, whoa, I thought if I did this, it would change that. Yeah. But um, I think it's part of growing mm -hmm. up. Because when you're a kid, you have that one thought. So you just want to think that's true. Yeah. But really, it's just a dream that's never coming true. Uh, she just recently left my house, mm -hmm. my, my apartment. And went back home because she needed her medication and things like that. But it also, I took a deep breath in, like, okay, I don't know if I'm ready for that because it was a lot mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Like, it wasn't a lot like, oh, it's too much. It's like emotionally and mentally, am I ready for that? Mm -hmm. And then, like, is she ready to take on that? 
And then some people don't like to help themselves, so I can't help somebody that don't want to get help. Right. So and I just song, laugh at the God yeah. a little bit. Because your song, um, Rainy Rainy Days? Yeah, Rainy Days. First of all, that's actually a really good song. Thank and you, you. you should definitely like do like a lot of more no, of your I get music. Yeah. So I'm about to sign some with Zeus Network for my okay. music yeah. to help me push and mm -hmm. be more of an artist, a person right. I'm supposed to be. Yeah, that's actually a really good song. And in that song, you say something. Y'all need to post it. We posted <laughs> it. <laughs> we posted it before. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that. Me get Despite a series of public feuds and fallouts that have played out on social media, Krishan's love and devotion to rapper Blueface has remained intact. She's shown that love in ways that had many questioning her sanity at times. Is she just a woman that's crazy in love? So let's talk about the tattoos. All right. Okay. <laughs> So there, there's obvious. Okay, so you have how many now? Seven. Six, seven. Okay, so you got all seven. No, now. no, I got five. You got five. I got two more to go. And you want seven? Yeah. Why? Because seven is a good number. Like God came down on earth on seven stars. Seven always been my lucky number. And you want seven tattoos of blue or something to do with blue? Yeah. Why? Because I love him. Yeah. Does he have any tattoos That's of you? That's my forever thing. He gonna get one. He doesn't have one yet? You gotta make him get one before you get to seven. I don't do it for him to get it for me. I just okay. did it for me. I don't even care about that other shit. I really love you. Yeah, so does he ask you to get it? Or do you mm -hmm. like just do I just it yourself? I just pop up with him. like, what the fuck? I'm like, hey, <laughs> I fell in love with you more. <laughs> okay, so walk me through the tattoos. You've got five out of seven. Let's talk about this ugly one that I want to get removed. It's, okay. Um, all the girls in the house got it when we did our season of Blue okay. Girls Club. Uh huh. Okay, so then the first one when I got in love and love was the one on my face. On your face. And what does that one say, Jonathan? Yeah. Okay. And then the one on my neck was next. And that says Jonathan too? Porter. Okay, so <laughs> Jonathan Porter this time. Okay. Get it right. <laughs> and then I got one like on my face. Okay. It's like, uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay. Jonathan's. Okay. Okay, poo poo. And then uh, <laughs> his face. Yes. So that, how much that? That's four. That's four. That's four. I thought I had five. Yo. Okay, so let's talk about the one, the face on the neck. Okay, so I gotta get this one done. Oh, right here. Jonathan. So all of them say so Jonathan. That's five. Yeah. That's a powerful name right there. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't want to like even like switch it up no, with even his, his birthday, oh, just yeah. the name, the name, yeah, the name. His name. So like what? <laughs> it's like wearing Gucci, oh. real expensive, baby. I'm just, and you do this because I you, love, you him. love him, and it's cute to me. Yeah, and he still doesn't have any of you. Is he gonna get he's any? Saying it like that, yeah, he's gonna get something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need him to get at least he one. He is. He, I feel like he's just. He's just so used to being a player and not used to being in love or mm -hmm. not really having a down bitch like me that he's still waiting yeah. to see, like, is so she going to fall guys... on me? Because y'all ain't got me in trouble with that whole... With the what? <laughs> <laughs> that the video club. in the club, right. At the club. It got me looking crazy, so look, I got to be my best behavior. Right. So, yeah. Right, so what happened after after that that whole club video? Because you guys then broke up, kind of, sort of. Yeah, sorta. we did break up. Yeah. Because he, he was like, <sighs> whatever. He got jealous. Yeah, and for context, this is the club video with, um, it was Fabio Foreign in the club, right? Uh, he got like that. And people, yeah. well, we got to give him context. But it, was, people right, thought, right. you know, but it, it was, was nothing. Nothing was going on. It wasn't really on. nothing. Right. He came up with a show love. Yeah. He was like, oh, I like... Because I was playing Rainy Days, and he mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, I fuck with your vibe. Da, right. Da, 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 da. You're trying to get hit. Some so shit how like how did you guys get back together after that? Um, I unplugged his cameras <laughs> in the house, and I start, hold on, what else I do? I did something else. I'm not going to say what I did. Uh -huh. But <laughs> it made him rush home. Okay. <laughs> and then when he was like, why are you cleaning up? Mm -hmm. You got to leave. I'm like. Okay, so. What? Because you have so many tattoos, does that make you nervous? Like, if you guys do break up because you, you know, no, are on and off sometimes? No, it don't make me nervous because no. you're not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. So when you're mad, do you put, like, a turtleneck on? No. No? Mm-mm. I just really feel like when I did it, I knew why I did it. Yeah. We didn't for forever. Right. Mm hmm Okay, so do you want marriage? Oh, yeah, we get married. When? Soon. And then, um, yeah, I'm having his kids, too. Okay, has there been a proposal? 
No, not yet. Yeah, but, but, but it's coming. <laughs> no, it is, it is. He, he told me he wanted a family with me. Yeah. So he was like, I want a family with So you want marriage and kids? No, <laughs> <laughs> for real. Yeah. Yeah. I just, and, and what's your... And really about to do this whole little TV show together. Yeah, what's the TV show about? It's called The Blue and Rock Show. And it's just your relationship? Relationship, you know, what we go through day to day basis. And I know a lot of my, our fans really love us together. Yeah. So we f it. Oh so, what's God. a regular day like for you guys? Um, We wake up, we f I cook, <laughs> we f here. <laughs> I'm horny as <laughs> Then we go to his little boxing practice and uh -huh. then we f after that. Okay. Then, so, how many times a day would you say? Three. Three every Four. day. Every day? Yeah. Or most days? Yeah. Wow. Sometimes when he's too tired to... So he's too tired, not you, though? Never. Never. I be putting him to sleep. <laughs> I be like... <laughs> I be wishing, like, he don't go to sleep after, but he goes to sleep. Yeah. When there's no chance. <laughs> when there's no chance. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, so marriage and kids. So what's your relationship like with the mother of his child, Jaden? Uh, I'm not really talked to her. Have like, you guys? You guys have met though, right? Yeah, when we was f like when I was f him, he was, she walked up in the house and she yeah. was like, "Really, with my stuff? He like, you, we, I been moved you out. Yeah, you don't live here no more." Mm -hmm. And she looking at me like I'm supposed to rush and get some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at her like, like you see my. <laughs> she walk up in the house, oh my disappointed. God. Then her mother come, trying to be her back of fate. And I'm like, and she tried whatever, tussle, tussle, tussle. Her phone fell, so I picked up her phone like, hello, hello. <laughs> oh yeah, somebody come. And like, oh yeah, oh yeah. She like, give me my phone, give me my phone, give me my phone. And yeah. His baby was like, give me my mother phone, give me my mother phone. He's butt ass naked. I'm butt ass naked. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get them out the room. His brother just come upstairs with a pile of food, like, oh, oh what the f on? So he finally get the mom out the way, and she, the baby mom's still standing there, like, hey, my mom, get phone. I'm looking at this, oh, you want the phone? So I toss it and hit it in her face. I'm done. Okay, wait, so how did that make you feel? <laughs> like, I'm that <mad>. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right. But how did you feel when you guys had been together, you and Blue had been together for a while, and then she got pregnant when you guys were together, right? So this is the thing with me and Blue. Like we be going like on rampages of him. Like we be beefing over certain things, or we not really locked in. So when we like really like, oh, I really with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, for real, for real, for real, for real. For real yeah. Trying. For real, for real, Blue. So like, it was more like it was already too late, and then he had like whatever a kid. Mm. Me, I didn't feel no type of way about it because I know you feel dumb about it, mm -hmm. but not really. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. can you know when a kid comes, you don't feel bad for nothing. Like, that's mm -hmm. a blessing. Yeah. But at the same time, why the f you had me get rid of mine? Right. So now he want a family. Like, it's just so you guys the back are, and forth right. of the confusion got me f***ed up. So you guys were at a point where obviously you got pregnant and then... Multiple times. Right. Yeah. And then, so do you feel safe enough now and comfortable enough For and secure sure, enough? Everything. Now? I'm really happy right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is, what is? <laughs> so what is it about him for you <laughs> that you know got he you? He me of a sense of home back okay. in Baltimore, like with my brothers and stuff. Mm -hmm. He's a real ass. He's ghetto as. F That's my yeah. type. You always say you want to be loved correctly. Do you feel like you're being loved correctly? I'm teaching him. You're teaching him? I be, like, he don't have a relationship with his mother, so mm -hmm. I, I didn't really expect him to know to do certain things and love a certain female a certain mm -hmm. way. And then, too, he never been, like, he told me the other day, like, you know, you've been my, like, for real first girlfriend ever in life? Mm -hmm. Like, for real? Yeah. Like, yeah, because I don't know, he considered his BM, his BM, not his. Right. Oh, this is my girlfriend, like, mm -hmm. no. He never went there with me. I guess I took him there, and then mm -hmm. now he's like. And so, what's your <sighs> relationship with his mother now? Because obviously, you guys we, oh, fought, fought his mom mm -hmm. and his sister. <laughs> I fought his mother. I fought his sister. 
But it's because they attacked me, and I had to defend myself, and I beat him up. That's right. It. And he, he, he said, like, get it. Because at first, I think you said you were trying to, like, calm the situation yeah, down. Yeah, I was trying to calm the situation down. Like, what's going on? Why the f he, like, she talking about you. Then she getting in his face calling her. And she already throwing stuff, hit, like, throwing stuff at my face. Two glass jars, a Gatorade bottle. He's like, if you throw something else at her, I'm going to let her have you. Mm -hmm. She did it. He, like, get on her. I'm like, uh <laughs> And then I end up like falling through with it because the situation and then she already, she was in my face. So when he said that, she got in my face like, oh, since she gonna get on me, I'm gonna get on her first. Mm -hmm. I just. So do you guys think you can have like a happy, healthy relationship no, I with. I really just wanna cut all the bad people off and just focus on us, our career, and what we love and what makes us happy. Yeah. And we like to make money, so. What does make you happy? Like outside of him? God. God. Yeah. yeah, I'm really filled up with God. So it's like, if he leave me, okay. Mm -hmm. I'd be sad. Yeah. But, but I'd be over it. Right. But you said he, you said you he, ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm, I, he ain't going nowhere. In early 2022, Krishan spent time in jail for possessing a stolen vehicle, as well as distribution of a controlled substance and possession with intent. Let's talk about really quickly, obviously the arrest and when you took his car and all of that stuff. Oh, yeah, what sure. what what happened? You wrote with blood on the uh, wall. What was going through your mind? So we was going through this situation <sighs> financially and all this other. Shit. Like the real politics and shit. I'm texting him like, where you at? What you doing? And I don't know what he on. Like, what you on? Like, I don't like when people be on certain things that's not f right. Yeah. I'm gonna come grab your attention real quick. I stole his car and some bread and I got up out of there. But I really was going through something with my mother. Like, she needed somewhere to stay. She needed something that I was just really gonna drive all the way across the country just to have her live out of my truck. Yeah. So I figured it out. Yeah. Or some like, not think, let's just do shit. Mm. And yeah, I didn't, thought, didn't think it through. Yeah. And then my homegirl got us pulled over and I took all her charges. So. You, you took the charges for your friend? Yeah. Wow, why? Because I was in a dark spot mm -hmm. and I was running from something. Like. So you wanted to go to jail? Yeah. That sounds weird, but yeah. What did that do for you in that moment? It, it blocked out everything. Social media responsibilities, people that's tagging on me, like pulling on me mm -hmm. for things that they need. Cause I provide for a lot of people unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. And then like, I noticed how much I provided for people when I went to jail. Mm. But it's crazy cause I can only provide for them because of him. Mm -hmm. I had a real strong support. Yeah. So do you have like your own, like do you have like your own? Cause obviously at the time you took his car cause you didn't have like your own car. So no, that was have, my car. Oh, that was your car? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my man! Mikasa, <laughs> Mikasa. What's up? What's up? Yours is mine. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I am dying. Well, yeah, I have my own shit on the apartment still. Yeah. Um, I fasted three days with God. I spent time with God more to the mm -hmm. point when, like, I don't know. I was no distractions. Have you ever considered <clears throat> therapy? Um. No, I don't really need therapy. No? I don't think I do. Like, I feel like the world think I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love God. Like, I'm yeah. Sarah Jakes, mm -hmm. so I keep up with her a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I be tapped in on that. I pay my tithes and offering. Um, yeah. And then, like, I'm starting, my relationship is so healthy now that it gives what it's supposed to give. Yeah. And you speak very highly of Blue. You're so in love. I have to. Yeah. Is, I ain't is there, scared. Is there a some... lot of people be scared to show and tell people how they really feel about yeah. a certain person because which I might take it as well. Or I might look like a simp, but I don't know mm -hmm. what it look like. I know what it is. Yeah. On the outside looking in, you know, obviously people think like, dang, like she's she's like, like he got a up. hold on her. Yeah, <laughs> stand up. He got a hold on her. So like, do you feel as though? <laughs> Do you feel as though he, like, obviously you love him. Do you think, like, he's in as in love with you or he, like, loves, like, the hold he got on you? No, he just is in love as, as much as I am. Yeah. So Because when I stole his car and did all that stuff, <laughs> it was the first thing I seen when I got out of jail. Yeah. It was just... So I he came to pick it. you up. 
Yeah, yeah. we went to the hotel. We f and mm -hmm. he stayed with me for a whole week in Oklahoma. Yeah. Middle of nowhere until right. I had court. His baby mother, his mother, whack. Everybody blowing up his phone. It's just me and him. Mm -hmm. That's him. So what do you see behind closed doors? He's just doors? as crazy as I am over him. Yeah. He's just like... Low-key, I think, I think people are starting to see that a little bit now. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, the same. In early August of 2022, the couple caught headlines again after footage of the two getting into a physical altercation in Los Angeles surfaced on social media. So what do you see behind closed doors? You know, what is he showing you behind closed doors that's not necessarily showing publicly? That makes you be like, this is my guy and I'm going to stick beside him. He really provide for me and that helps me provide for my family. Like, okay, yeah, I get gigs and TV shows and I do certain things like interviews that might pay yeah. me or I haven't really got on that like um, bandwagon when I'm booked, 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 so booked that it's like, because mm -hmm. I'm chilling. I'm really waiting for this deal with Zeus and like that. And then I'm gonna take off, bop, 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 bop. But till then, it's, it's really been him. Like, he's yeah. just been here providing for me, loving me, and then give me everything I want. Yeah. And then when it comes down to the music, because that's obviously like your goal, it's really good. Thanks. So do you feel like um, people aren't taking you as seriously because of obviously reality TV and then you guys' relationship? Do you feel like you're not taken that seriously in the music industry yet because of that? I don't care what people take serious and not take serious. It's really up to God. Like, mm -hmm. I get what y'all saying, but this is a time period. that I don't understand this time period, but and I'm going to. It's yeah. just... I'm very patient, yeah. and I get everything I want. So it's like, it's a time and a place. And then when that time comes, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, we used to know and I've been there. Huh? Yeah. So it's really an understanding I have with God to not feel like, oh, they ain't taking me to, I don't give a f they ain't take Jesus serious. So what the f I don't really feel no type of way about it. Yeah. I really feel like that's just a part of claiming who you are and what you want right. in life. And that's what you gotta go through to get where you wanna be at. So right. if I gotta go through this so And where me. do you wanna be in a perfect world? What does life look like for Krishan Rock? Um, consistent income, able to provide for others, and get everything I want. And what's everything you want? A family. I really like providing for others. I don't know really what I want. I just want love and happiness. That's around God. Mm -hmm. If that's somewhere, somewhere else, somewhere, somewhere, that's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Step into the shade Step room. Step into the shade room. We love you and, you know, we wish you all the best. Want to make sure you're good, you're, you have the love that you want in your life. Make sure you have the career that you want. And, you know, we'll be, we'll be following along. Hey roommates, if you want to see more celebs stepping into the shade room, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here.